These are the Brinkerton Coke ovens, uh, which were really hard to get to because they're back a, a railroad line. You have to walk it. Uh, you can see because the faces are in good shape that these were rebuilt uh, probably for the war. You can see some evidence of concrete uh, block, cinder block, used to rebuild the faces to get them fired up again. Uh, this is a two-sided bank. It's not very big. I don't know if that's all because what's left. I'm taking a video of the first side. Then I'm going to shoot the other side, show you both of them. This is a, here's a good example of the rebuild. You can see um, all the concrete, modern concrete cinder block used to rebuild the faces back up so they could uh, fire again. This is located in Westmoreland County, uh, between Hecla, United, places like that. Brinkerton has some really good trunnel holes. This is where the coal fed in from the top so that you could cook it for anywhere from 36 to 72 hours, depending on the charge you wanted and what the application of the Coke was gonna be used for. It's another one over here where the actual trunnels aren't gone. It's a huge hole. Look straight down into the oven. Um, this is, uh, Generally, these were eight foot high and 16 foot diameter. One more here, if I don't step into the hole. This one shows you a trunnel that's built from a series of bricks versus a, a cast version of it. This is Brinkerton from the other side. A little bit more open so you can see it, although the sun's in her eyes. All the faces are in pretty good shape. I would say in total, you probably have 25 banks uh, on each side, so you probably have 50 ovens in this little setup. But they did use them a long time, and the reason is, you know, the railroad's right there. Uh, probably, uh, I don't know if it's the Heckler branch or the Boyer branch, but it came right up and picked up the, the uh, Coke after it had cooked in the ovens. Pretty nice find out in the middle of nowhere.